Hi, Seekers. <laughs> Welcome to Madness Life. If you're new here, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> I only do that because I get tired of saying it, but, you know, you got to remind people. You're getting your hair cut, Sammy. All right. It's a quiet night on the YouTube streets, is it not? Where's Foodie? <laughs> we can't live without you. <laughs> we have plenty of archives. We're good. Anyway, um, unless she pops up in Canada, then we're then I'm happy. Anyway, so instead of it being a community post, because good God, the stuff you deal with. I swear. I catch so much shit. <laughs> you know what? Dove Kitty, say less. I'm just playing. Dove Kitty used to like me, doesn't like me now. Don't know why. I don't know where it went astray. <laughs> I never do. But it's like, you know what? I'm going to keep watching you, but I really don't like you. Okay, cool. <laughs> so anyway, hello, guys. So I want to have this talk because I was just kind of shocked at the way uh, I already made dinner. I made roasted um, cauliflower and broccoli and chicken breasts. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to have a question for my members, and I'm going to have a question for my non-members, my subscribers. I really am. I never set my live chats to subscriber only, right? Because I think that's being like kind of an asshole, don't you? I think so. You got to judge for yourself whether you want to subscribe to somebody or not. Maybe it'll take a year. You know what I mean? It might take a year. It's like a relationship. You know what I'm saying? I don't blame you. I don't just, you know, freely subscribe. And then if, if you know, and if you become problematic, I'll usually unsubscribe. Whatever. It happens to all of us. Okay, so hold on. I'll get to that part. When we take... Listen, I'm not going downstairs to do a poll. Hubby's down there, TV's on, dogs are all laid out. We don't need the nonsense of Tiggs begging for carrots. We're going to be up in here, in the diva room. This is where we think. This is where we have good conversations. Okay, so here's what happened. I'm eating my rice, <laughs> my broccoli, my cauliflower, my chicken breast with beer can chicken rub on it. Oh my God, it was so good. Anyway, and I, my phone goes, Wee. so I look, and I'm like, what? My Google email always makes a sound, right? It says, you've been gifted a membership on your mama's channel. Of course, I laughed because that's the only channel. A year ago, I was in there and some people were getting gifted memberships, right? And I was in there watching the live stream and somebody asked the question, how do you get gifted a, a, a membership? Or how do you opt in? That's what they said. They said, you have to opt in, right? For gifted memberships. Now, not for my channel, but to opt me in to your mama's channel. And then they taught you how to do it. Somebody in the chat was telling you how to do it. So I go, let me check. Join, three dots. Opt in. I go, oh, okay, that's how you do it. And uh, then I got gifted a membership a year ago. Now, your mama does the same thing I do. He does private videos and for the members. He does private videos. He does like family stuff, like shit I removed because somebody actually went in and paid on mine and then just released it to the public. So I had to get rid of a bunch of stuff that could hurt people I love, right? Because that's what you do. Welcome to social media. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Same thing happened to you too. I have not gone in there. I don't even know. Okay, what did he do? To, what did he do to make me go, you know what? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> but at some point I did. And it was like a year ago. I don't even remember when. To be honest, I don't have the receipts of the last time I was gifted a membership, but I did go in there. I enjoyed, you know, some of his videos. I didn't put them out to the public. I wasn't a dick like that because, you know, it's a lot of work to make extra content for your members, right? It is. I do member lives. I do giveaways. I do private life videos. 
and that's what my members enjoy. And I'm always getting bitched at. And yeah, you're not worth it. And you call, you charge too much. You're just not worth it. Good. I'm trying to deter people like you. So amen, it works. But it's $9.99 on my end, which I get about $6.50. That's it. A month. A month to put out more content, gift giveaways, all that shit. Well, now I know what I know. And I want your mama to know this. Apparently, you don't have to be subbed. You don't even have to watch a video. You can literally go over to someone's channel, click on join, go up in the corner, hit the three dots, and put opt-in. And anybody can go and see your private life. I just want you to know that. Now, I don't know what you're charging. I have no idea. I'm not a pocket watcher. I'm just saying, now you know that as a creator. There is no way for a creator to turn that off in any settings. Zero, the end. No way. All you can do is turn off your memberships, like uh, across your whole channel. So you can't stop an opt-in or a person gifting. You can't turn off gifting. You can't turn off shit on your channel. You know, that's by design, right, Google? Uh-huh. So technically, memberships are supposed to be, you get personal badges. Um, that's pretty much it. And you get to be lit up in green. That's it. So if you think it's like a Patreon or some private, whatever they call it, a Discord or something, no, 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 no. So maybe we shouldn't have personal stuff over there. Do you know what I'm saying? I just learned something. I just learned something that... Anybody, non-subscribers. I thought it was subscribers only. You can't even turn that on. Nope. So we just learned something. Because I know, like me, he likes to do private stuff over on his memberships. You just have to enable gifts. No, that's whatever channel you're watching. That's what you're enabling. You're opting in. You're allowing someone to gift you into that channel you're watching. I, as a creator, cannot turn that off. That's what I'm trying to say. So you shouldn't have stuff over there that just anybody could be gifted to watch. For real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, if you want to keep your family private and, I don't know, have private conversations with your members, um, like... If, if subscribers could be gifted, that'd be different. But anybody, like anybody, somebody could come over to my channel from space and opt themselves in to my memberships. Now, I'm fine with that, except for I have to think about what content do I have over there. Kimmer says, I've gotten free memberships from channels I've never even watched or knew of. How is that possible if you have to opt in? Don't you have to opt in? I miss the messages on YouTube also. I really do. You can't do DMs. You know, ask a question. You have to... YouTube makes you do it publicly. And then, like, you know, what if you're doing a members-only live and you're having a conversation, not about other channels, but just about life? You know what I mean? And people are like, you know, spilling their guts and, and, and then anybody could just opt in and read your shit. <laughs> Thank you, Capone. Every time I go to a channel, I check and I'm always opted in automatically. What? Are you serious? Like any channel you never even watched, you're opted in. So when you, once you opt into one, you're opt in to the, everything. It's like a, a all over YouTube opt in. Wow, that's interesting. Could you imagine? Yes, I have to opt myself out. I must be subscribed to over a hundred and some people, and I wasn't even 
subscribe to Yo Mama anymore. Of course, that cat's out of the bag. But even if he went and looked, he'd see. So I just want anybody that has members only to not think of it as a Patreon. It's not. It is just meant for badges and lighting you up in green. That's it. And supporting a channel. That's all it's meant for. It is a random draw. You don't get to choose. Nope. If you gift memberships, you don't even get to choose. You can't even go through and say gift, gift, gift. No, it just picks. I'd never say, listen, <laughs> the things you learn, right? So I'm just warning other creators because I know a lot of them, they'll have, this is only available to members and maybe it's stuff they want only their subscribers and their members to see. Like if anybody from anywhere can just, yeah, you might want to pay attention to that. I just learned that. I check my subscriptions. Oh, subs, you mean? That's different. Yeah, the members. I've never had that happen where I'm subbed to channels I don't watch. Yeah, I want to give people a heads up. I did not know this till tonight. But you really don't know who the subscribers to your channel are. You kind of do because they're in my live chat all the time. They are. <clears throat> I only had an issue with two people and that's because they knew that I had private videos over there. Like kids, like family, oh my God. And then they let me know when they outed, you know, one of my videos that nothing's private. There's no respect, there's no boundaries, there's no shit. Now we just learned a whole nother one. They're in the trees, right. Okay, so here's my question to my members and my subscribers. What if I lower it and I take off all the videos, no live streams, no private videos, which makes me sad, by the way. Um, I'm not gonna do a Patreon. I, I just not. I'll just save all my videos to private. But would you like that better? To just, you know, get badges and then, you know, be part of gift giveaways. I mean, I can do... Uh, members only um, lives, but uh, just hangouts, you know, here and there, once or twice a month. Would you guys rather have that? First, the members. Tell me yes, lower it, wipe out all the other stuff. Same with the subscribers, just tell me. Once you enable gifts, it's for all channels. Wow. You can do tears, but I can't control the tears either. I can't control the tears. Angela said, I would join if it's lower. Okay. Catalyst just said, I'm staying no matter what. Well, and here's the thing is, I felt like I was, it was a Patreon. You know what I mean? But it's not. It's really not. I don't really want to do tears. You're going to, you'll miss the lives. Not live streams on my public. We were doing live streams members only lives um, over um, in members only. But people can be gifted that tier too. Safety comes first. Gifting gives to the tier. Oh. But I wouldn't have any, I just, you know what? I don't want to do that. Because then the lower tiers get nothing. You know what I mean? I don't like that feeling. So it's either all or nothing. Oh, I see what you're saying. So if I put in a lower tier, that's all that can be gifted is the lower tier. Are you sure? You enjoyed the members only lives? Me too. You like the way it is. I think it's the best option is only talk about what you know has the potential to go public. I don't understand that. Hold on, wait, what? I think best option is only talk about what you know has the potential to go public. Well, if they say only the lower tier can be gifted, lower tiers usually get a few icons and a small discount on merch. 
Ooh, I could do that. Then the bigger tier, the higher tier, won't get gifted. Number one, because I like my private stuff. You like the way it is too, Jan. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the lower tier, and then they're going to get a discount in um, the Etsy store. Huh? And they'll get their they'll they'll get their badges. They'll get a discount. And then the higher tier, I'm gonna put a discount in there too, for the for the Etsy store. Huh? Maybe I gotta think about this. I gotta work this all out. This was like an eye opener to me. But we have a good time over there, and I don't wanna be like, well, it was fun, but. Now that I know anybody and everybody can just come in here, we ain't doing this shit anymore. But, so you're saying, and I need somebody, you like that too, okay. Here's, because I've, I've had a Patreon, and it was fun, and that's where all my videos went, and then I got rid of the Patreon when the membership came, and then I moved the videos to the memberships, and I was like, yay, it's all in one place. You know, there's no glink, glink, click, click, right? I don't even remember how to do it, tell you the truth. So, you're telling me that if they gift, if you're opted in, and somebody gifts you a membership, you can only be gifted to the lowest tier. Check out other good channels and, okay, okay. And see what they offer in different tiers. I didn't even ever think of different tiers but I could do a low tier, just just for channel support, and then do um, like ten percent off in the Etsy store. So if, okay, and I'll go see what people set their tiers at. I'm just I only want two because the the upper tier is the one where we all hang out and we have we have chats and fun and shit like that. Tabs has different tiers. Who's Tabs? It's a good idea. I bought three or four face creams and leave in condition. I'm, now my daughter wants to get into it. A discount would be nice. There you go. You'll get a you, you'll get a bigger discount in the higher tier. For real. Are you getting a phone call? No. Oh, Yaba has three tiers. Oh. You're here no matter what. Thank you. Thank you, supporters. I really appreciate this. That sounds good. Okay, C. Morton. There are people that want to be members, but they not, they're not really interested in the private life stuff. They just want to be members. So we're gonna we're gonna drop a tier. We're gonna drop a tier, people. So to be clear, people can gift the higher tier. That apparently, if they do gifting, they can only gift the lowest the lowest tier. I'm gonna see. Just wake me up in the morning, right, Catherine? I just wanted to warn, like, people that have private and family videos, and then they have people that don't like them, hate them. I mean, that's actually a thing, believe it or not. Um, they just want to go out and, like, all the work you do over there in the private. I mean, we know it happens. It never happened to me on Patreon, I'll give you that. But... Um, th this was new to me because I was like, I was like, I mean, I've spent, how long have memberships even been on YouTube? Um, because I've spent a significant amount of time uploading very personal, private things so you guys could be a part of my life, but it involved other people until I realized somebody was willing to pay um, just to... I don't know, but I'm glad they didn't hurt other people. I'm glad they just tried to hurt me. I thank you for that. That does show some integrity. You know what I'm saying? Um, because people believe if they pay for it, then they can release it to public YouTube. But then you're like, why would you waste the money to give everybody something for free you paid for? Anyway, I don't understand that logic. I found myself subscribed to a channel I never watched. I, I've keep unsubscribing so many channels I watch. Ain't that something? YouTube does that. They unsubscribe and subscribe, I've heard. I just checked because I was gifted to Erie Pepperoni. Yes, it's the lower tier. Okay, thank you. Does she have more tiers than one? Does she have more Good evening, beautiful Shireen. 
Go check, Sage. How many tears does she have? I'm only going to have two, okay? She has seven? Whoa! She got a whole lot going on over there. I couldn't do that. I want, you know, that's too much. <laughs> that's just too much for me. So we're going to have the support the channel, like a 10% discount in the Etsy store tier. And then we're going to have the live, private, the members only lives on the tier we already have. We'll have that. Uh, I'm using discretion now with the videos I put over there. I'm not including people, right? And then we'll have like a 20% discount. Oof. That's going to hurt me on that face cream, is it not? Well, thank God I only have four left. You know what I'm saying? Yaba has a $1.99 tier, $4.99, and a $9.99. Okay. I'm thinking I will do um, a $3.99, and then I'm keeping my other one because it's, it's a lot of stuff. On the upper tiers, just a lot of stuff. So just do a $3.99. I'll probably get like two bucks. Yeah, look at them all. Now they want my face cream. <sighs> oh, she has one. You were looking at emojis. Okay. I'm like, that's a lot of tears. Now, I want the lower tier now. I do because I can offer you 10%. Off your t-shirts, everything in my Etsy store. Mm -hmm. I think I could do that. So I'm going to work on this tomorrow, perhaps. But yeah, it was an eye-opener for me. And I thought, you know what? I need to ask my subscribers and I need to ask my members what they want me to do. Yeah, that would be too much, right, Jamie? <laughs> I'm going to have to stop if I can just be subscribed to anything. Well, here's what's going on. Here's what I'm thinking. Why are we getting recommended of channels we've never seen or heard or watched a day in our life? Well, what I learned is you can pay YouTube, like YouTube directly, Google, and they will be, it's almost like they'll push your channels for you. So are they subscribing people to these channels? I don't know. You love the chatting at night. Me too. I love the members only chats. We go in the diva room, right? Create the ambiance. I love it. It's a business move. You got this. All right, fine. There's what hashtags. Two tiers, more members. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, it may not, nobody may join the lower tier. I mean, they might for a discount in the store, but Google makes you go, hmm. And you got to remember, um, in the end, all they care about is the money. They're not really that concerned about your safety, your personal, no, no. So nothing, nothing shocks me. Yeah, like when you, when you just click on YouTube and you can just scroll all these, like you'll get the channels that you're, that you're subscribed to, but you also get all these channels you've never heard of that are just starting out. So what they do is they pay Google to push them through the, you know, you think you would have to earn your way into the algorithm, but I guess people can pay to push themselves through the algorithm. And then you click on them and go, why would you even pay? The, work on your channel first. Stop. <laughs> oh my God. I seen one today where I was like, what are we doing? What are you doing? I got sneeze. Uh oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Allergies. Welcome to my world. It is springtime. All the windows were open. And I'll sneeze on a dime. You're welcome. You're welcome. That was free. I subscribed to a channel, but I've been gifted memberships and eight months in a row. What? And you never opted in? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. 
I thought, you know, you opt in, you opt in once. But apparently, if you opt into a channel, it opts you in everywhere. Can you imagine just randomly a channel you're not even subscribed to? You're just gifted a membership. Hello. And maybe they got private stuff over there. See, that's my problem. I have to end the trusting stuff. I have to end that. I have to stop. Will I still be able to watch you? What are you talking about? This has nothing to do with my public YouTube. Nothing. I go live every day for you guys. But then we have other stuff in the background. All of YouTube. What? So if you opt out of the one channel you opted in, does that mean you opt out of everything? I think you're right. You have just opted yourself into the whole YouTube verse. Wow. That's cr you should have more control as a creator. And even if you opt in, you should be like um, channels I'm subscribed to. Like click that. But there's nothing. There's nothing a creator can even do to stop it. A creator, except for create a low tier. It doesn't have your private stuff on it. See? Yo, mama, I know you got private stuff. You need to create a low tier. You need to put your private stuff on a higher tier. Here's what we've learned. I mean, he knows I'll never, ever, ever in a million years, ever share his private videos. Ever. I don't even care if he's dragging my ass through the dirt. I wouldn't even care. He did that in private. Let him have it. I wouldn't, because I don't get butt hurt. <laughs> and I try to ride his coattails. Oh yeah, let's smear him. Let's put his private stuff out to public and smear him. That'll make me look good. No, it wouldn't. It'll let, make me look like a snitch. I, listen, I live my whole life. You ain't a rat or a snitch. You want to be? Then guess what? It ain't going to work out for you. Because in the end, the universe will come back and bite you in the ass. So good luck with that. Maybe he has low viewership. So even non-subs and people who just run a cursor past his videos, I get a membership. <laughs> Bella! Oh my God, that was hysterical. Hi, Cindy Lou Who Who. No, not really. I just trying to help out creators that put out private stuff on their members only. Just giving them a heads up. There's a person on X that acts like your mama and talks crap about girl world. Let them have it. You know, if it may, listen, everybody wants to be a character, let them. They either succeed or they don't. You're either funny or you don't. Or you're not, I mean. People are only attracted to like either... They want to be miserable. Or they want to laugh. Or they want to do all th all the above. You have to be well-rounded in order to keep people, right? I don't know. How the hell do I know? I've had people like leave my real life because I couldn't be persuaded to think like them. It, it happens. So people don't think like you? You know what? You know what? Lord, I'm not going to live in a world where everyone's like-minded. It ain't going to happen. If there is no logic behind it, I am not going to be for it. You know what I'm saying? This is not going to happen. I'll ride that horse alone. I've been given a membership to your mama for months without paying. Whoa! So somebody just keeps gifting. How low is his amount? Somebody just keeps gifting the world memberships to watch his private videos. I don't know how he's comfortable with that, but I wouldn't be. Ain't even close. He only gets about 200 people in his chat. What? I have 350. How's that possible? Are you buying subs? <gasps> Him and Ch Chantel did sub for sub. <gasps> You've been busted. Busted, your mama. Busted. Hello, Dan. How are you? You're either opt in or you're all out together. Yeah, we just learned that. Most low tiers a buck ninety nine. Okay, 
I ain't giving no discount in my freaking store for a buck ninety nine. I'll do a buck ninety nine. For real. Light up my whole chat in green. For real. I'll do it. Buck ninety nine. I ain't doing no discount in my store for that. Hell no. Because if, if I do 10% off in my store and I'm only charging, what, $3.99, I, I'm going to be out. Some people have zero perks for their memberships. Well, true that. I was gifted a membership to Yo Mama too. And I never, ever watched anything of his. Charlie's mom, I'm telling you, it's a thing. That blew my mind. I was just eating dinner. I was like, so this just occurs in the background while you're not even thinking about YouTube? They're trying. I was like, what? See, the thing is, like, let's say you get somebody who hates you, right? They opt in. They're waiting for somebody to gift memberships. Nobody's going to gift memberships on my channel at $9.99. It ain't happening. But what I learned is, if I set a tier with nothing but badges. A buck 99, that's the only tier they can be gifted. Boom. I found out through email. That's how I found out. My email went bah, bah. I said, what the fuck does YouTube want? Now I'm eating. Praise God so far, no your mama gifted membership. Shelly Ray, you ain't been lucky like that. Well. He does stuff over there on his members only, just like I do. I sub to a creator that only charges a dollar. He does discounts at his store, but it's not monthly. He'll give a discount code on his membership community tab, not monthly either. Well, mine would be permanently. I mean, you could buy something every day and get a discount, and, and, and it'll hurt me, not you. But I'm willing to do that for support on my channel. I really am. I guess. Yeah, that, that is some bad policy with YouTube. I guess they don't want us to treat memberships like a private Patreon. You would join just for a discount. Okay, I got you. It is sus. All right, so let, we got to figure this out in our head. Because think about this. Let's say you order. Uh, I'm going to have to do it. I know what I'll do. I'll do it. Every month on a certain product. Could you imagine you get, let's say you put in, what? Let's just say you put in a $50 order. It, you know what I'm saying? You get $5 off. That's double your damn membership. You'd be living like a queen. I, have, I don't have any problem doing that. I'm being a smart ass. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> He's done gross stuff behind his paywall. Well, I don't want to go see it, or do I? I certainly, I certainly wouldn't release it, but I'd be afraid that he would shock me. And then I'd, you know me, if I know it, <gasps> would I be able to be like, I saw what you did, yo mama. Like I would be a stern mother. I'm not gonna go look. Nope, I'm not looking. I'm not gonna look, yo mama. Like I said, he has every right, right to do whatever he wants in the background, behind a paywall. But now, you know every one of us could be gifted. You could have, oh my gosh, can you imagine? You know who else could be gifted in there right now? Checking out your shit. All you got to do is think really hard, yo mama. I know you like Bible study. You may want to check out Shepherd's Chapel. They're the real deal. They do Bible study scripture. I have a few. I like The Real Believers. That That's one of my favorite channels. He's called The Real Believers. And he even does like the whole whiteboard thing. And then he brings the scriptures to uh, the part of the Bible we're talking about. Like I just can't absorb another human being when I'm doing Bible study. So The Real Believers, that is my favorite YouTube he talks about things that make you uncomfortable too. Things you don't want to hear. Things you have to hear, right? So you got to choose. A message in her Etsy store concerning that. 
just Jamie, and send Shelly a message in her Etsy store concerning that. Wait, what did just Jamie say? Yeah, I don't really like YouTube questions in my Etsy store. Let me tell you why. Etsy rates you on your fast shipping, your fast response to messages. So if I say, okay, and then you say thanks, then I have to reply with, you're welcome. And then they say, have a great day. And I have to keep responding. I don't like that. Just go to nomadnesslife at yahoo.com if you need to have a conversation with me. When you do it in my Etsy store and it's about YouTube, um, I don't even know if Etsy even likes that, you know, when it's not even about products. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let, let's not do that. <laughs> but they do. They score me. Okay, what? Well, I got a leave-in conditioner where the spritzer doesn't work. I don't have any empties to swap it out. Well, yeah, hit me up in the... Just, just send me a message seller. Don't, don't do, I have a problem. Then I have to do a resolution number. It's a whole thing. And I'll just send you another one. Ain't that big a deal. I'll just send you a whole new leave-in conditioner. Because I'm that bitch. You're welcome. You only have to respond to the first interaction. You don't have to keep responding. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah, you do. You know how I learned that? Because I've been on there. I've been on Etsy five years. And then it would be like, uh, they go, um, and I say, you're all set. And they say, thank you. And I didn't respond again. And then my percentage kept going down. <laughs> yeah, Etsy's weird. You can't like click, this story's over, or this conversation is ended. End conversation. You can't do any of that. Etsy is something else. I've been with them a long time, but... I just don't want to do the whole Shopify. I said, if my business was huge, I wouldn't even be on Etsy. Sarah, he was great. He, aw, God bless you. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie's in the Etsy store, right? She don't have to be because I just told her I'll take care of it. I've got her address. We just send her out a new one. Anyway, yeah. That was something else. I was like, what the fuck? So with any, like, we are creators, but not only are we creators on YouTube, and some of us, we can use the word loosely. Do we really create? I don't know. If you're here hanging out, then yeah, we're, we create. We create a community. Uh, we can create whatever. Personality, um, bonds between us, right? A little bit of glue holds us together over here. You can always come in and know we're going to either laugh or cry or, or pray for somebody, right? That's a community. I don't march to the beat of anybody's fucking drum, yet they still don't get it. They don't get it. They still try. Trying to write the script of my show, trying to tell me, you know, whether I'm uh, aging and I should maybe be more mindful that I don't look attractive when, you know, when I'm take you know, don't give a fuck. I don't know why people still think I give a fuck. If I take off my glasses and show you my bags or do treatments on my face, I'm not vain like that. I'm not. I will sit here with all my flaws because that's true blue shit. So call me a creator or don't. But not only are we a creator, we are a partner. A partner with Google. So they should protect, and create walls if we want them, right? Shouldn't they? Because we already know how this works. Um, there are people out there that just, I mean, they just hear your voice and they want to punch you in the face, <laughs> right? What movie was from that? Oh, yeah, War of the Roses. Every time. I watch you eat. I want to punch you in your face. Every time you breathe. Remember from that movie? Yeah. So you get people that feel that way towards you. I don't give a flying fuck. And then they get mad because I don't care. Why should I care? Because their, their opinion is so damn important that I should take the hits. I should feel lower about myself. It ain't going to happen. 
Ain't gonna happen. That's how I feel about Chantel. Exactly, but we still watch. We make it fun. I don't have deep-seated hate for humans like that. Everybody's fucked up. Some of us, we grew up when there was no social media, so none of it's recorded. None of it. <laughs> and then some people choose to record it, which makes my day. Makes my day, makes my day, makes my day. You, I don't care what umbrella you want to stand under in the storm. I've been through the storm, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I've been through the storm. Ain't a raindrop going to hurt me. Anywho, I'm just saying, whatever umbrella you want to be under, mental health, uh, fat phobic, it doesn't matter. You still upload the content to public. There it is. Now, my thing tonight is, what if you're putting it behind private? All creators need to know that once people opt in, any of them can be gifted on your channel. So you have to create tiers, which I just learned tonight. Put your private videos, your family, your beautiful family in a higher tier that cannot be gifted. Only the low tier can be gifted. I didn't know this. I learned this. I'll get busy. I deleted so many freaking videos. And I don't want to delete all that. I don't want to delete my whole private life that my members get to have fun and connect with me. And we do, you know, we chill at night and we do live stream privately together. You know, when I'm going through it, my heart's broke. If you want to put it on public YouTube and laugh at me, you go right the fuck ahead. I'm just saying, I am not going to shy away from my members when it comes to me. Now, other people, I'm not doing that anymore. No more. They don't deserve it. Um, I don't care. I mean, I care. Just makes you look like shit for real. Yes. And we do pray for a lot of people and we have people going through it. I'm going through it right now, which could be why I'm a little sassier than normal. I'm about to find something out tomorrow that I don't know if I even want to hear it. But I have to be there for that person. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to come on here and, uh, and push it to the back of my brain. And that's what my members are for. Not to trauma dump on, but to be together when people are going through it. And we have a lot of people that go through it. And that's private shit. And, and I don't appreciate that. Would you do that in real life? Huh? To your best friend or, or I don't know. Maybe you would. Maybe you are those kind of people. I don't know. But... I'm not a big Yo Mama fan. He makes me laugh sometimes when he comes in here and sasses me. I like that, but I don't watch his shit because he yuck yucks too much. And that's fine. I just don't like it. But I don't hate him. But I would never, I, I'm a member now I, on his channel. And I, I'm not going to go in there and release anything he said or did because I don't care. I don't care to, like, I mean, what does this world come to? I mean, there's just absolutely no boundaries anymore. To me, that's a boundary. If he put it behind a paywall, it's a boundary. And just because I gained access without asking for it for free, you think I would release that? No, never. Not in a million years. I'll pray for you in this situation tomorrow. Thank you, Erwin. That's why I'm a little sassier tonight because I'm a little on edge. It's like... How do you prepare for the worst and hope for the best? How? In certain situations, how? How? Life is unfair, man. Jane, thank you so much for a super chat. I follow adventure and travel channels. That's how I found you. If I'm entertained and learn something new, I'm all in. Thank you, me too. Me too. It is a good, good group of people. A lot of people that have come in here have told me that. I only get, you know, once in a while some nonsense. You know what I mean? But it's fine. Mostly I pray for those people. I got to be honest. I really do. You can't change people's personalities just because you want to. You just can't. You can't say, well, I don't approve of this with you. Because I believe no matter what, people are who they are. 
and you can't you 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 just can't slander them to change. You just accept them or don't. That's some fucked up shit. To think you can walk around going, you know what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, my biggest thing is abusing animals or children. Sorry. That's a choice. We ain't talking people that just, you know, are seem a little self-righteous or a little, you know, overconfident or, I don't know, secure in themselves. Like, that's different than people who actually abuse animals and children. Right there, you don't even get a pass. Right? You do not get a pass. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Not for the behavior. I don't forget. I don't forget that shit. I, I forgive it, of course. It's not my sin to judge, but I'm just saying. Um, I don't forget it. I can move on. I can move on. Are you gonna do it again? If you do it again, we got a problem. Right, never. You'll notice my biggest haters um have done questionable things. For real. And I don't know why they need me. They need me to tell them it's okay. Whatever they did, it's not going to happen. That's not, that's not up to me. You got somebody else to talk to, sweetheart. Yeah, an elderly. Speaking of which, you know what's kind of interesting? So we all understand, right? It, you know, we cover uh, foodie beauty. And it's, it's all about her content. Um, yeah, she's got a little spiritual struggle going on. We get it, right? Did she learn with the animals? No. She went and repeated the same shit. No vaccinations, no new, neutering, right? Now, had she grabbed Julia and said, you know what? I fucked up. And I have learned. And I will never let another animal suffer again. Then, boom, everybody just be skidoot, right? No, no. She don't do that. And that's why we cover her. Mm -hmm. And she don't care about children. She will expose your children. She will mock a school shooting uh, because she feels nothing. Or does she? Is that a cover up? Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, we will always have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. I still pray for her. I hope she finds God. I hope she uh, loses weight. I hope she gets a weight loss surgery. I hope all that. And then it will change her. Maybe she'll go out and do better. Maybe she'll vo start volunteering at an animal shelter, right? Do you know there's a rumor going around? And it could be somebody from Kuwait. I don't know. But here's the rumor. There's a part of me going, you got to be kidding me. And there's another part goes, well, that makes sense. There's a rumor that foodie... I don't even know how to say this with a straight face, but I'm going to try. Um, <laughs> is doing some childcare in Kuwait. Is this for real? Anyone? Now we remember twice. Once we seen a little kid's feet. And another time, we heard a kid say, um, can I get some milk? And I always thought, well, that's weird. Is Murad over there and him and Salah are in the bedroom playing games and the kids running around rampant? What is going on here? Maybe she is watching somebody's son. It's about the right age. Yes. Somebody swears. It was on the X. It was on the X, the Twitter. And they swear. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's going, hell no. I know, I, I said it with a straight face, but they swear. You, you gotta find it on the Twitter. You just put in Foodie Beauty and you put in latest. And then you just keep scrolling down. And I can't remember the name of this person's Twitter. And then somebody reposted it. It was something else she was doing over there too. And I think it's part of her 
um, room and board kind of thing. Not not like she lives with a family. She could. Uh, not that she lives with a family, but like part of an agreement. Like maybe the... Per now, remember I said Airbnb. Remember, Shalas said, oh, a single woman can rent in a building. Now, let, just let this sink in. Okay, so what if the people that own the place she's staying in, she's exchanging the 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 right to stay there with watching teaching English was part of it, I think. Oh, I think part of it was teaching English, yes. Teaching English. Listen, you don't need to be an English major to teach just spoken English. You do in order to do composition. Kind of something like that. Almost like a, um, could that be the job description? Would you need a degree to just teach English? Not in a classroom, but as a tutor. Well, hello, Soapy Sandwich. Think about this. Could you? Not if she's doing it at home. Hmm. Okay. You couldn't be a tutor, like after school tutor. Yeah, the kid will only know bees in. Hey, we're bees in. The family's like, what is he saying? And they'd be like, I don't know. Most need an, uh, that would be to teach in an actual facility. But could you be hired by a Kuwaiti? A Kuwait, a Kuwaiti. Not a Bedouin, a Kuwaiti. To tutor. Well, I've worked as a tutor. The parents asked for my credentials. Okay, but they asked. Were they, they weren't really required, right? You still think they need an English degree? Hmm. What's an au pair? Au pair? What is that? Explain it. Somebody said you can work as an au pair or whatever you call it. Okay, I'm telling you, it's on the Twitter, and this person swears. If friends of Salah, they wouldn't need a license. True. But could it get you a residency? I mean, we know she's still on a visitor visa. <coughs> a nanny? A nanny tutor? Like, maybe part of the nanny deal is teach my kid English? So that's a nanny, an au pair, au pair, okay. Um, but you wouldn't be able to get a resident card with being a nanny, right? She learned a few phrases, so they thought she could te teach English to children. Who knows? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> All I'm saying is on the Twitter, go find it. You just put in, yeah, no residency with that. It could be just an agreement for where she's staying. You know what I'm saying? She is in a family building as a single woman. She could be doing some nannying. If you know what I mean. I don't know, but you'll find it on the X. You just put in foodie beauty, just foodie beauty, and then put in latest. Scroll down. It was like yesterday or the day before. That's true. She would not pass the health stuff. My cousin taught English in Japan. He had credentials. It was a must. Yeah, well, Japan is very, very, very. Listen, I know people who have done missionary work and went over to Africa and taught English without a degree as missionary work. This I know for a fact. They didn't even need a degree. They just needed people. So I don't know the situation in Kuwait. I don't know if it could be a private thing. Hey, I'll let you stay here for this amount. If you can teach some English, my children to speak some English, like pointed objects, teach them the English words. We're not talking, you know, write a composition paper. We're just talking some English words. I mean, Sla had to learn English somewhere from somebody. Of course, you can do it on the YouTubes, but I'm just saying maybe it was a little agreement. Japan has the highest school rate, of course. <laughs> my God, those kids don't even get a summer break. You know how many breaks they get in the United States? I should have been a school teacher. No, I already told you. There's only one grade I could have handled, and it would be sixth grade. 
They're, they're done with the elementary nonsense. They're getting ready to go to, you know, middle school. And right there, that's the only grade. They're, they know how to read, write, take showers, zip up their pants. They're starting to look, you know, trying to look cool because, you know, here comes... Here comes middle school where you start looking awkward because your face starts growing at different, you know, <laughs> degrees. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, sixth grade I would have done. Yeah, they don't do breaks. Neither do the Chinese children. We have a family member that teaches Mandarin, which is the hardest one to teach, right? Is Mandarin. Uh, anyway, so, yeah. But, you know, she has a degree. But she teaches Mandarin to American students. Lord help us, I'm telling you. But, I, I mean, I didn't even know. I mean, I said it with a straight. No, I didn't say it, with, say it with a straight face. But I'm just saying, I read it and I'm like, I do remember seeing that kid twice. She is the perfect babysitter. Let's think about it. She ain't out. She ain't bringing a boyfriend in. Let's think about Foodie as a babysitter. Okay, it ain't her kid. The kid gets to go home. She's not gonna not take it to the the kid to the pediatrician, right? So that we don't have to worry about medical care. Okay, let's think about it. What's her favorite sports? Lay around, watch movies, and eat snacks. That's a kid's dream. That's the babysitter you want, not the one sneaking in their boyfriend trying to get you to go to bed early. Chantal stays up all night. She don't care if that kid goes to sleep. Hang out with me. That's what she's doing. Let's watch Dumb and Dumber together. And she don't go live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So maybe she had an agreement over there and she can't break that agreement. Does Foodie ever finish anything but food? And maybe she's sick of the kid. Or kids. That's why she went home. I ain't going back. <laughs> now that would make sense. Yeah, uh, yeah. You couldn't find any info on the, the person that said all that? Yeah. They said something about teaching English and nannying or watching kids. Yeah, they did. It's in the Twitter. I didn't say she would be teaching in a building. This would just be private stuff. Like someone who can speak English. Teach my kid how to speak English. I'll let you stay here. That kind of stuff. Like them back back room deals. We're not talking a degree and she, stand, she couldn't stand in a classroom. Stop. I hope the children are not in diapers. No, no. That kid looked to be about the age of Murad's kid. Tell on her. That's a goodie. What do you mean? Somebody did it in the Twitter. And I'm asking if anybody saw it or if it's even... Like, to me, it's like so far from the reality. It's almost hysterical. Like a loophole arrangement. Could be Murad's kid. I don't, well, the kid's got to go to school. So is this like after school tutor? I don't know. We're just making shit up that I read on the Twitter. Could be Tally you. Okay, Sammy's back. Everybody look busy. Oh. I don't know. I also seen something else on the YouTube. Did any of you see? You guys, well, the, the shit I get that comes through my algorithm. That MFN channel, MFN channel, who's been like literally just riding Katie Miss Effing Wonderful's ass since the beginning of time, right? Well, she has her own channel. It's just MFN. It's supposed to be Miss Effing Nobody, but she just shortened it to MFN. Did you see the community post? I'm like, what's happening? What's, what's happening here? <laughs> Go look. Come back. Because I ain't even saying it. You didn't see it. You've seen it, Sarah. <laughs> what the fuck? 
I said, well, it does look like the Timu wig. I, I got to give the person that. No, not that, Fireflies. I know that. I'm talking about MFN's uh, community post. MFN's community post. Somebody sent that picture to that creator and said, yeah. And I'm like, come on now. Yeah, wouldn't, no, Foodie's not there with a legit job. My point was for lower rent or for a nicer place to rent, she has to do a favor, which might be, can you teach my kids some English? I don't know, how many times do I gotta say this? There's no way Foodie would go over there. She has no degree, no career whatsoever. This would be like a friend shaking hands. Um, you wanna see View Condo? All right, well, I'll rent it to you for this amount if you help me out with this kind of thing. Have you seen it, Sage? What do you think? No way. No way. That would be horrible. Uh, that would be horrible if it was her in that picture. The one with the semi-truck. I don't even know if Katie's seen it. <laughs> she ain't said a word about it. She might want to get on that. Gotta wash my rings. They're losing their luster. The shit that gets put on the internet, honestly. All we can do is question it. Ask questions. What's wrong with that? What do you mean there's no semi pick? We're not talking the X, we're talking YouTube. Being alone with small children is my worst nightmare. There you go, Talia, at least you're honest. You don't think it's her? Yeah, that wig was just a little too scrappy. You know what I'm saying? It was just little, like, that thing looked like not any wig I've seen her wear. Not any wig. I never, she don't even own a pair of sandals that look like that. Right, like I feel like they grabbed a woman that had a similar body shape, right? Uh, but she don't own those kind of sandals. I, I scroll down to the sandals because I know she always wears the Walmart flip-flops. She don't wear anything that straps over her heel. That And that woman's arms didn't even look, they look like an older woman. Older woman's arms and that wig. Uh-uh. Nuh-uh. Not even her halo wig looks like that. <laughs> Charlie's, Charlie's mom. I think it's her. That's what. That's the way it's been all day with that damn picture. But I, I'm going to tell you right now. I have never, ever, ever in seven years seen... Katie put on a pair of sandals like someone in their 60s would wear. Ever. Now, she'll wear her freaking slippers to Walmart. But she always has the Walmart black flip-flops. And those ladies, that woman's arms are too big. Yes, they are. Yep, leaning over that semi-window with her arm like this. That lady's arms are too big. Way too big. That's just nonsense at this point, is it not? Arms are too big unless it's an old pick. Well, it would have to be really old, like back in the Stephen days. You'll have to go to first pick and stroll over. Yes, her arms are too big. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's a community post. She would want to be incognito. Well, you know, there's a wig and a hat. And I'm like, well, if this person said this is really her, then they would have took a picture of her face. You know they would have, because if you ask me, that person just didn't stand there on the uh, cab side, uh, driver's side of that cab. They would have had to walk up to it. Then they would have had to walk down from there after whatever's going on. 
at the truck stop, they, you would have got a face picture. Somebody just happened to see someone they thought was her, took a picture, and then sent it to the great old YouTubes who don't do any investigating. Because the sandals, nope. Not in a million years would you catch those on her feet. Nope. She'll wear her slippers out in public. She don't care. You, you think foodie could teach French? <laughs> That's funny. She didn't even grow up in a French school. She really didn't. Yeah, that's not her. Exactly, Cindy Lou Hoo Hoo. That's what I said. As soon as I seen the sandals and the wig, I was like, no. The body shape's similar, but the arms are too big. So that was fun. I just like to get you guys involved in stuff I see and see what you think. Aren't we supposed to do that? I'm not going to say things are true or not true, but I wanted to see if you saw what I saw. Yeah, Foodie can't speak French. Yeah, the arms are too big. So anyway, I'm going to think on this members thing. I might just throw in, um, I can throw in a tier that gives you a discount in my store. People want that, but I ain't doing no dollar ninety nine. then giving you 10% off all my products. My gosh, I might as well just close the shop down. You know what I'm saying? I'm only making five bucks a shirt. Five bucks. Like for real, for real. And my shirts are cool as hell and they're soft and they're cozy. And they're, they fit great. That ain't gonna happen. The legs are too toned. Yeah. Are they toned though? I couldn't tell. But Katie does have, like she, she does have, oh, you're right in the middle, the thighs. I didn't even look at that. That right there would have told you all you needed to know because she lost a massive amount of weight. So she's got a little bit of, um, uh, stretch marks, right? Because most people that undergo weight loss surgery and they weigh like 400 to 500 pounds and then they get the weight loss surgery, what happens is they lose rapid amounts of weight, right? So all that skin just sags, right? And then they got to get it cut. They got to get the arms. They got to get the legs. You're going to get a couple of shirts next month if I got enough. Okay. So I'll, I'll put that tear in. And then you could save yourself 10%. How about that? So you save like $2.80 and I'm I'm charging what? $3.99 a tier, right? And then, you know, oh, you know, oh, uh, uh, Google, they're going to take their cut. They're going to take their cut, 35% or some shit. So yeah, there you go. And then I only make $5 off the shirt and I'm giving you $2.80 off. I make 220 there. So yeah, I mean, it's not a win, but it's not a loss. I'm not doing a loss, but I don't care. I'm not like looking at, listen, I just want fair, <laughs> right? It'll help you in the long run. Well, you know, it's just a business that I do. This is like my retirement, my store, which I don't even know. I really don't know about the store. For now, it's fine, but it's not a retirement plan. I gotta have a different retirement plan outside of this nonsense. <laughs> but if I get to that point where I could sustain myself, if anything happened to my husband, I can't walk this earth alone, I'm telling you right now. I can't, I can't do it. I wouldn't be able to let you guys go. Um, I don't wanna live with family. I don't want to be that person. You know what I mean? I'll end up doing 24 hour a day vlogs if anything happens to my husband because I'm never marrying again. He's my one and done as far as soulmate. And I'm not interested ever, ever. He's my best friend in the whole wide world. It'll never happen. So then you guys are going to be those people to me. You feel the same way. Mm hmm. You get me on that? Yeah. And I couldn't even imagine living a life alone without you guys. 
I wouldn't marry again either. I won't. No, I never. Well, it's fine when somebody's your guardian angel, but I need to be able to talk. And if I start talking to somebody who I think is in the room, we got a bigger problem. Do we not? Did you guys ever even hear that story of that guy that that died and, you know, he came back? You know, you get those people. And you, you don't know. I mean, like, I have my faith in God, okay? I don't have my faith in people that tell stories, Right? Even if they're moved by whatever happened to them. Um, still, I thought it was fascinating when this one guy said, we have it all wrong. Down here, we have it all wrong. And the person you're, the soul you're with down here may not be the same when you get where you're going. It's bizarre. I'm like, I don't want to hear that. And fuck you. Yes, he is. Don't even talk to me about that stuff. I'll start crying. I don't like any of this talk. Let's not talk about any of it. I don't care what people saw or think they saw or felt. I can tell you about a good dream where I my soul wandered off while I was sleeping. And I'm looking at this person that's not my husband, but I know he's my husband. That kind of stuff. But he don't look anything like him. I don't want to think about that either. Let's not. Did you know that the, that the camper my husband was going to go pick up, that we were going to, it was already gutted, thank God. Okay, what we're doing is a retro. We want to do a retro renovate, okay? Take something old and give it its life back, right? But better. I love that. That's in my soul. Anyway, so we had this one picked out. Whoo, going to get it on Saturday. He sold it. He sold it. So now we're starting over. My husband already ordered all the wires. So people don't hold on to stuff just because you ask them, right? He didn't have a cash app, so don't even ask. I'm just saying they don't hold on to stuff just because you want it. If somebody calls and says, I'll be there in an hour, they'll take the cash and away they go. And I'm fine with that. I, we would have had to just drive there. We're on our way. Don't sell it. We're on our way. We have cash in hand. We're on our way. That's how you got to do stuff. I think I am an old soul. Yeah. Even in school, people told me I was like, I don't know, more mature than most females my age, but I don't know. It could have been just my childhood. Like, you know, I did a lot to take care of my sister. You know what I'm saying? And you get a different mindset. They did that to my meds yesterday. I told them to hold it. Oh, and they put it back. Well, that's what I said. You know, we don't know. Maybe, but see, okay, we got a whole nother week before he's off work on a vacation, which is when he wanted to do all this. He even ordered all the wiring. I said, don't worry about it. We need the wiring anyway. No matter what we get, we got to rewire something. So anyway, um, I just feel like whatever it is, you know how you're kind of like, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that's... But there's always that one, like Max. We spent five years wanting a van and uh, five years, <laughs> five years. I'm like, I don't like red, uh, I don't like that, ew, right? I said, we'll know when it happens. And then Max showed up and I said, get in the car, there it is. And he goes, yes, because when we were in Florida. We, you know, we were always looking at those excur you know, the conversion vans, you know, with the, you know, the, I don't even know what you call them, like they just, they seem like pimp vans, right? You know what I'm talking about. They got the roof and then they had that stupid TV in there with the VCR shit, right? It's all red velvet shit. Anyway, we thought we wanted something similar to that. But then when we were in Florida and we were walking by and this guy, he had a, a Ford E van, right? So he had like an E250. Ours is a 150, but we liked it. We just liked the way it looked. It had that like rugged look to it. And here Max came up, an E-150. Um, the body I love, where it doesn't look like a work van and it doesn't look like a grocery getter or a soccer mom or, you know, a pimp daddy van. Like, it just had that look where you can make it look a little safari, kind of. And it was just a miracle. So I feel like when this camper presents itself, 
we'll be going and getting it. And like I said, he's going on a vacation, which means if one pops up in the morning, he can be there in two, three hours and get it. And that's why I told him. He's, he's, listen, he gets a little more like, <sighs> than I do. I'm like, no, 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 no. God doesn't want us to have that. We'll, we'll know, we'll know, just shh. I always do that. And he always goes, you're right, <laughs> you're right. I said, remember, Max, Max. We wouldn't even have Max today if we wouldn't have waited. I remember when he brought the boat home, remember? I was doing a live stream. He was in there gaming, but he was looking at his Facebook marketplace, right? He wanted a project. This man, you better keep him in a project. I'm telling you, his mind is that of, he has to create. I mean, he used to build gun cabinets, uh, you name it, for anybody that wanted them. Oak, and I mean, they were just gorgeous. They were gorgeous. He could have sold those for fifteen hundred, two grand, but he would just build them for just little over the cost of the materials. Oak, right? Glass, everything in them, just gorgeous. I mean, the stuff he built, he built um, uh, oak uh, back in the oak days, right? 90s and 80s. Um, the china cabinets, right? And I mean, incredible. And the strength and tongue and groove. I mean, he's just that man. So it's like, you got to keep him on a project. Well, I was doing a live stream, hanging out with you guys. He comes, he opens the door and I'm like, hey. He goes, um, I'll be back. And I go, where are you going? He goes, he kind of mumbled it. <laughs> going to get a boat. I said, did he just say he's going to get a boat? You know, the chat's like, I said, what do you mean you're going to get a boat? <laughs> I'll be damned if he didn't take the Jeep and go drag home a boat. You guys were here. He's funny like that. I love that. I love that he never says no to adventure. He never says no. What, what's a FEMA? FEMA trailers? Those big ass things? FEMA trailers? Aren't they huge? Listen, honey, I'm talking 16 feet here. I ain't talking 24, 31, 36, 40. I've seen what FEMA trailers look like. That's my husband as well. We have our own woodworking business my husband can create. Right. Right. We were going to make like this one of a kind thing. Um, we're still working on it for retirement because in order for my husband to make the prototype, um, he's also working on a, um, I'm not even going to say, because that one's a big one. That one could, you know, set you, your kids and your grandkids up for life. Okay. So we ain't talking about that one. That one's got to be prototyped. Then it's got to go through all kinds of shit. But he's going to work on that one when we retire. And it will change a lot of things when it comes to, let's just say, surgical procedures. But anyway. But for now, like, we want... There's this other thing that we're going to build that will sell crazy awesome. Everybody will want one, but he can't do it right now because he's not retired yet. So he can put all his time into it because you already know you need to have so many. So right now we're just doing little projects for fun. Okay. No, that's not bragging. This is called planning your future, right? Because if you don't, you have, you have no hope, <laughs> right? And don't run out of hope just because you're old. Your brain's still working. So are you. Nobody said you got to be out there nine to five in it. Click, clack, click, clack. No, all you need is an idea and enough money to invest in yourself. It takes time, yeah. It definitely takes time. Yeah, and that innovative thing, he's been working on it for mm, at least eight years. So he'll be ready to prototype it. Listen, we, we used to stay next to a guy named Rick at the campground in... Florida, and he was from Michigan, and he is a self-made millionaire because he prototyped one thing, one thing, 
and it sold like hotcakes. It actually sold through Home Depot. Go figure. It's all it's about, an idea, somebody to draw it out, and somebody to make it. And you patent it before they make it. That's it. It's that simple. You make one prototype, patent that shit. And then once you sell enough of them, then people, big corpse will pick it up. And there's only so many big corpse in the world. Lawn and garden, medical, <laughs> surgical. Um, medical devices are instantaneous if they're picked up by um, one of the big companies, right? And then there is... I don't know. I don't even count automotive. I just don't count them. But it's what people buy or need every day. All you got to do is create something new that's a little bit easier and a little bit better and patent it. Then it's yours. Um, you'll get knockoffs, but the original's where it's at, right? The only knockoffs you're going to get are from across the Pacific. But yeah, think with your brain. You are in charge of your own destiny, right, people? Or you're not. Right, Chantal? Or you're not. You had a good thing going. You had a really good thing going. Too bad. You ruined it. I'm going to go too. I just want to hang out put that shit out there, ask my subs, ask my members, because I don't like to do anything on my channel once you are in here and we've been together for years. I don't, I don't like doing that. I don't like doing that when it comes to being members and, you know, stuff like that. I don't like to change it without talking to you first because I respect your, your, what you want. So they're saying, keep the higher tier, because people love it. They love to do members only hangouts. We're going to do another one. Um, I like to do them on Sunday evening. But like I said, I'm going to find out something tomorrow at the latest Friday. And I don't know if I can make any promises of anything right now. You're okay with our whatever. Thank you. But now there's people who say, yeah, I'll join members on a lower tier. Would you give us a discount in your store? And I said, yes, I will. And somebody said 5 to 10%. I'm like 10% because I really appreciate you. And that's pretty much all you're going to get out of me for that membership tier. Grimes, you just showed up. Love you. Sorry, just rewind. Take the little ball. Do that. We just hung out. We talked about some people out there speculating stuff. Wanted to know what you thought about it. Go check it out yourself. You don't have to be like-minded to like think for yourself. So would Foodie be good at teaching English as a tutor to a child for maybe a reduction in rent or to live in a family dwelling uh, as a single Canadian? I don't know. That would make more sense than that person thinking that that was Katie over there in a truck stop. That ain't Katie. That is not Katie. No, it is not. That woman's older. It is not Katie. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I'm glad y'all saw that. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a good night. I love y'all and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. <laughs> Bye.